Hey, what's going on, everybody? In this video, we are looking at a Joshua Mayo video. And in this video title, he claims these are four side hustles that nobody is talking about that can make you $900 per day. So we're going to see how accurate that video title actually is. See these four side hustles and give my point of view on them and how easy they would be to start and actually make money. See if you can even come close to $900 a day with any of these. And I have actually watched this video before, so I can give better commentary on this. So let's just jump right into it. You can see here 2.7 million views on this. Four side hustles no one's talking about for 2023, $900 per day. So let's see what he has to say. I've got four side hustles that no one is talking about that can earn you as much as $900 or more per day with basically no skill. All you have to do is choose one of these ideas and then execute. American. This takes no skill, by the way. Let's throw away almost five pounds of trash per person every day. And all this trash ends up in your trash cans where a garbage truck then comes and picks it up. But after the trash has been taken to the trash can, there's always something left over. Smelly garbage juice that attracts cockroaches, ants, rats, possums, and other rodents and pests that could then eventually find their way into your home. And this is where you come in. You'd be really surprised to learn that a lot of people will pay you really good money to pressure wash their trash cans once every month or even as much as every week. So Okay, so once every month or once a week even, which once a week would probably be a stretch... I don't know who's going to pay you to clean their trash cans every week. I mean, you take out the trash once a week to the street. So that'd be literally every time you empty the trash can, which is a bit aggressive. It would be more like once a month, probably, or even every other month or even like a couple times a year. Someone recently left a door hanging flyer at my house that was advertising this exact service. And what shocked me even more than the prices they were charging given. Okay, so they say $65 to wash one trash can plus $10 if they have an additional trash can. So that's really expensive. I don't know who would be paying that. I guess if you're in a really wealthy neighborhood, you could maybe get away with $65 to clean one trash can, $75 for two trash cans but that seems like a lot how little time it took to clean one trash can was that people were overwhelmingly excited about this service and willing to pay for it okay so he already jumped on to the next side hustle here so let's talk more about the trash can cleaning service it's going to be pretty gross honestly it's going to be pretty hard to get clients cause it's not really a normal thing even if you do the methods he said to get clients if you get 20 clients they're probably going to want to have this service once a month. And for $900 per day, say you're charging $65. So $900 per day divided by 65, you're going to have to clean 14 people's trash cans a day to make $900 in one day. So you need 14 clients that want to clean their trash cans every single day to make $900 a day doing this so definitely a viable side hustle but you're not going to make $900 a day it might be like $900 per month would be more reasonable for something like this in my opinion 70 to 150 Okay, so actually, he actually didn't jump into the next one. This is just buying a pressure washer. You can post in local Facebook groups, Craigslist. And then he talks about posting it on Craigslist, flyers, all that kind of stuff. Extra $10 for every added trash can. I mean, imagine for a second that you cleaned four trash cans every hour for eight hours straight. That's 32 cans times that by $35 per can. I mean, we're talking upwards of $1,100. Okay, so he actually broke down the math. I forgot about this part. Four trash cans every hour for eight hours so you have to find 32 trash cans to clean every single day that seems a bit aggressive i don't know how you're going to find that even with the best marketing to get that many people to pay you to clean their trash cans i was thinking like 14 to 20 would even be an excessive amount to to find for a day and then you're not going to get repeat customers these customers probably would come to you once a month if even that so this part just seems a bit of a stretch to me dollars or more per day or you could only work for a couple of hours and easily make hundreds of dollars folks this side hustle is incredibly easy and cheap to start requires zero skill and is a service that a lot of people will pay money for and if one of you want stock market bull and a stock market bear and i paid roughly 200 dollars a piece for this canvas artwork now the interesting part about this and what i like Okay, the first thing about selling canvas artwork, been around for probably six years, I know, because I did this probably in 2018 or 2019, right before the world shut down, basically. It did make good money. I'm not going to lie. I didn't charge $200. I think I charged $40 for print-on-demand posters on Etsy, 
and was selling them. Made a pretty good profit, to be honest, but I was one of the first to be actually doing this side hustle, and I made good money with it. Now it's just completely oversaturated. I mean, if we type in print on demand Etsy, which is what he's talking about, this video was made three years ago, two years ago. Here's another video that he made about it also, apparently. If we scroll down again four years ago, so this is not a new side hustle that no one's talking about, and it's gonna be extremely convoluted and a lot of competition to get started in this niche, definitely. If we come on Etsy and search canvas print, I just typed in canvas print wall art. I don't know what's going on with Etsy here, but it says 1.2 million results <laughs> on their site. So the competition is gonna be insanely tough to crack into here. I would guess you would make maybe one to two sales per month, if even that, if you can even get any sales and definitely won't be charging $200. You find canvas print bowl here. This person's selling it for $16, $14, $35, $15, $32, not $200 like he says. Later learn is that while yes, this is original artwork, the seller isn't actually the one producing these large canvas paintings and shipping them. Okay, then he goes into print on demand, which has obviously been around for like 10 years and people have been making videos on it and, and such. And then he'll go through how to actually make original artwork with some Photoshop things that you could purchase that he probably has an affiliate link for. So we're gonna fast forward through that. Personally, never seen anything else like it. And so I'd like to thank Faisal for showing me this because honestly, and this is really saying a lot, this might actually be the easiest way to make money online. Okay, so now he's going into the third one here. Let's see what it is. With very minimal effort. So I want you to think about every single time that you go to amazon.com and shop. Sometimes you're just browsing through products because you're bored. And other times, if you're like me, you're always kind of searching for a specific product. And when you find that product, you see the image, you see the price, and you may go down and read the product description or the reviews. And oftentimes what I'll do, especially if it's a bigger purchase, is actually go to the videos and I'll watch a video review for the product. Now, here's something fascinating that literally nobody thinks about except for the few people who are making these videos. The creators who are making these reviews are getting paid to make these videos. Here's something that a lot of people don't actually know about. Every time somebody watches at least 30 seconds of one of these videos and then proceeds to buy the product or a similar product on Amazon, that creator will get a commission from the sale. You really got to think about this for a second, okay? So these both... Okay, so for this one, I looked everywhere online on YouTube and just Google searching to find out if this is actually true. And I didn't find anywhere about doing this and especially making money from doing this. So I guess we're just going to have to trust what he's saying here is true. I don't know if you can actually just do what he's saying, which is buy the item make a video review and then he actually says return it which we'll see in a minute and then that just goes live on amazon's site i'm sure it can't be that easy there's got to be some process that amazon goes through to like approve you and i don't know i just I didn't see anything online about this anywhere so i don't even know if this is true but let's just see the rest of this section headphones have close to 10,000 reviews. And we already know that only a tiny, tiny fraction of the people who buy a product actually end up leaving a review. And so these headphones are likely being bought hundreds of thousands of times. And I would imagine that out of those hundreds of thousands of sales that quite a few people are looking at the video reviews of the product before actually making their purchase. And the craziest part about all of this is that literally nobody knows this is a thing, okay? And so there's basically no competition. For example, if I go to these Apple AirPod Max headphones, you can see that there are zero video reviews. Not a single person has made a video review about these Apple headphones even though we know based off of the number of star reviews that it has these headphones are definitely being bought hundreds of thousands of times imagine that out of 100,000 hypothetical sales 5,000 people watched your review video of this product before making their purchase this means you would earn about $55,000 on this one product alone imagine okay so if we go back a second these numbers I was not able to see anywhere how much you can make by doing this so I guess we'll just have to take his word for this one. I haven't seen it anywhere. I looked online for probably 20 minutes trying to find something about this, how to sign up to be eligible to do this from Amazon. Couldn't find anything. So if anyone knows, definitely leave a comment down below about this side hustle. But obviously, if this is true, you can't make a lot of money. You can make $55,000. Over 100,000 people bought this and he said 5,000 people watch at least 30 seconds of your video review. So I guess it technically would be possible. But the other thing that he said coming up here is a little controversial as well. So let's look at this. To buy the product in order to do the review and I don't have a lot of money. Okay, that's fine. Buy it, review it, and then return it. <laughs> Why not? It doesn't get much. So 
buying it and returning it, it's not a huge deal for a company like Apple in his example, but a lot of people run small businesses on Amazon. And when you actually buy something and return it, they have to pay the shipping costs. And then a lot of times it comes back in a package that is not sellable. So they actually do lose a lot of money. So definitely if you're going to try this and figure out how to do it, don't do it with small brands and small companies. I would do it with like a company like Apple, like he has in his video. It doesn't get much easier than this, folks. There's so much money out there to be made. You just have to take the leap and start taking action. So I recently spoke with somebody who started a successful six-figure Etsy shop by finding a product on AliExpress, buying it for super cheap, and then selling it at a marked up price on Etsy. And okay, again here, a side hustle that no one is talking about. I literally did this maybe 2016, 2017, <laughs> bought products from AliExpress and other drop shipping sites and then took my own pictures and sold them on Etsy. So I've seen a ton of videos about this before I was doing it, since I've done it, and I personally have done it before I've seen this. So I wouldn't say no one is talking about this. I've been talking about it for almost a decade now. And I mean, you can make $900 per day if you get a really hot product that sells where you're gonna make that much profit. Let's see the example he gives here and see how many you would have to sell of those per day to make 900 in a day. This sunset projection lamp, which only costs $2.96, and I guarantee you this product could easily be sold for 10 times the amount on sites like Amazon and Etsy. Well, would you look at that? This is literally the exact same product as the one that only costs $2.96 on AliExpress. How do I know? Well, because the Amazon product is even... Okay, so this one's 19. There was one down here that said 29, so... Say he's making $20 in profit to be generous on each sale. Again, let me take out the calculator real quick and see $900 per day divided by $20 in profit. You're going to have to sell 45 of these every single day to make $900 per day. And so the first thing you do is decide what platform you're going to sell on, Etsy or Amazon or both. And then depending on the platform, you'll just have to do some research to figure out what products people are. And honestly, that's the end of the video. Those are the four side hustles. Out of the four ones that no one is talking about is the Amazon reviews one with videos because I don't even know if that's a real thing. Literally, no one's talking about that one. I don't know if it's actually real. The second one is the garbage can one. I not many people talk about that. I've actually recently seen videos and stuff come up about that, but it's pretty new topic and I definitely cannot make $900 per day doing that. Print on demand canvases and then reselling on Etsy, definitely viable. They work. There's just a ton of competition out there now for those. I don't think you're going to make $900 a day. Honestly, probably ever now if you're starting this, unless you grind it out for a couple of years, maybe you could get to that level of $900 per day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm not trying to put this guy on blast, Joshua Mayo. A lot of people make these side hustle videos, but they don't actually do them. And they're not actually trying to really help people. In my opinion, they're really just trying to get views. This video got almost 3 million views. He's got a bunch of affiliate links down there. On a business video like this, he's probably going to make you know, like 50 to $100,000. I didn't do the math on the high CPM of this video, but definitely doing it for the views not to actually help people out. So if you are going to try these, definitely do a lot of research and make sure you actually want to do these and it can be profitable for you before jumping into these. So thanks for checking out the video. Check out some of the other ones on the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one.